YouTube, this is a video on my Gibson LPJ, which I've had new since 2013. This guitar is called July, because I'm a huge Darkness fan, and Dan Hawkins, uh, main Les Paul, is called June. And yes, I know it's sad, but I don't care, because I love the Darkness. Um... <laughs> Bad Mouth Men days, my old band, and it's got loads of bits of wear marks over it and buckle rash. And found out today that this uh, this crack got a big split in it, and I don't know, just love it. I, I I try and treat this very well. I try and baby it a bit. It's sort of it's my child, but look at little bits of wear on it. It just sort of happened over the years. Little bits of I don't know, lots lots of little marks there. It's great. Um, I believe this is called Vintage Burst or something like Dark Burst or Vintage Burst, something like that. Um, it's basically a dark purple or a dark brown. I can never quite decide. 2013 LPJ, so the spec's a bit different from most Les Pauls. It's got a mahogany back, as you would expect. It's got a maple top, maple cap, sorry, as you'd expect. But the neck is also maple, and it's a big old heifer. It is bigger than the normal 60s profile you get on Gibson's. And I love that. I love the stability you get with a big neck. And it's made out of maple. So the whole Gibson headstock break thing that happens to a lot of Les Pauls can't happen here because it's maple. It's just, um, it's just stronger than mahogany. Uh, the way Gibson make them, the grain of the wood is only short, something like that. And it means that it snaps there quite easily. But with maple, it doesn't happen. You very rarely see fenders of broken headstocks. So... Yeah, uh, let's see, the nut is Corian, rosewood fretboard. The pickups are the 490R and the 498T, the same as came in the Gibson standards up until 2003, where they became the Burst Booker Pros. I'm not a fan of the Burst Bookers, I've tried them before, I had them in my red SG and I found them quite... Um, they're very meaty, very beefy, but there's not a lot of clarity there, and there's so much bass end I find it hard to control it and tighten it. Uh, these are a lot nicer. However, these pickups are built differently from the regular Gibson ilk because they have plastic covers and the plastic covers have the two tabs on for the screws either side. Um, and it's basically just a wire and a magnet inside a... Uh, there is a brass uh, base plate as well, but in a plastic chassis. So arguably, because they don't have any metal covers or anything, they, you could argue they sound different from other Gibson pickups. Whether they sound different or not from the uncovered Gibson pickups, I couldn't say. But there you have it. Um, it's got a Gibson Quick Connect underneath here. So it's two volume, two tone. It's wired modern style. So that means uh, the capacitors are just on the tone going to ground. It doesn't mean that they're linked as they were in the 1950s. Les Pauls. So the controls uh, work in a different way from the 50s controls, whereas if you turn down the volume, the tone reacts or something, something like that, they you know, interact differently. Um, I'm neither for nor against this, it's, it's fine. I've toyed with the idea of changing it to 50s wiring a few times, um, but I, I, lo I love this guitar so much and I'm scared of changing anything. Um, because of the thin finish, it gets battered quite easily. I've no idea how any of these wear marks happened, it's just... I don't know, you know, I was doing a hell of a lot of gigging, and that's what happened. If you look at that, I swear I wasn't even trying, it just sort of occurs. But, and the neck used to be satin, but it's gone shiny because of all the years of wear. I've had this for like five years. Christ, it's a long time. The fret's fine. I could argue they're a little bit sharp. They've always been a little bit sharp. I keep meaning to get that scene too. But I never get around the to Tuners are Cluson Deluxe style. I know a lot of people swap these out, but these are perfectly fine. I've never had a problem with these. Top wrapped it, because it makes the strings feel a bit slinkier. That is the spec of this guitar. That is it. There's nothing more to say about it. So, let's get on to some sounds. <laughs>
So there you have it, this is my LPJ, known as July, and she's my baby, she's lovely, I love the open grain finish, I love the pickups, I love the way the controls work, um, the placement of the switch, I love the weight, I love the feel of the neck, although the frets do need a little bit of work, um, I love the nut, it's fine, it's cut great, stays in tune, I love the tuners, There's, it's, it's the perfect guitar for me. This is it. I don't think there's a... I've played lots of it more expensive Les Pauls and they haven't come close to this one. I actually played one exactly like this in a shop in Birmingham in lovely condition and it wasn't half as good as this. I don't know what it is. It's just... This one's special. This one is is the one for me. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to continue to uh, jam on this now and have a whirl of a time. Uh, thank you a lot for watching. Uh, leave any questions in the comments and I'll try to get to them. Bye!